चा नाव लागेल a very good morning to one and all present over here we welcome you all to the national science day award celebrations february the 28th holds a gargantuan significance for every indian scientist as this day each year we celebrate it as national science day in commemoration of dr c v raman's stupendous contribution to science we at shastra celebrate this day with a lot of enthusiasm where we felicitate the stalwarts of science in recognition of their stupendous contribution taking the zeal forward let's start today's program with the invocation mitri bhajata अखिल जेत्रे मैत्री भजत अखिल जेत्रे मैत्री भजत अखिल जेत्रे आत्मदेव परा पश्यत आत्मदेव परा पश्यत युद्ध त्यजत त्यजत युद्ध त्यजत स्पर्धा त्यजत त्यजत परे क्रम त्यजत परे क्रम क्रमण मैत्री भजत अखिल जेते मैत्री भजत अखिल जेते जननी पृथ्वी काम दुखाते जननी पृथ्वी काम दुखाते जनको देव सकल जाडो जनको देव सकल जाडो दाम्यत दत I now request our honorable vice chancellor dr s vaidya subramaniam to address the eminent gathering please sir distinguished chief guests for this national science day awards function professor sadagopan distinguished awardees the wonderful audience that has assembled my fellow colleagues i am extremely happy to welcome all of you on this momentous occasion that celebrates the spirit of sciences with a very mellifluous invocation rendered by shrimati m s subbalakshmi calling for peace which cannot come at a time more appropriate than now i am sure as we celebrate science it also means science is for peace to humanity and this event in a way not only celebrates the contribution of very distinguished researchers to various fields of sciences but also serves a great source of inspiration for the younger generation to take up sciences as not only for their personal career building but for nation building and to make the world a better place to live in 
and that is why i sincerely recall the conversation that we had over a breakfast with the former president dr abdul kalam when he was heading the drdo it was he who suggested that we do something for srinivasa ramanujan and that's when our effort to establish the srinivasa ramanujan center in kumbagonam began in 1998 which finally took a very good shape in 2002 by the time dr kalam became the president and he himself came and inaugurated and that saw the also the birth of the shastra ramanujan award in a similar occasion in a very casual interaction with professor cna rao came the idea of shastra cna rao award and likewise the shastra g n ramachandran and the shastra obeyed siddiqui award traces its origin through such interactions with people of eminence and as we speak today all these awards have achieved very distinguished position in the global architecture of awards meant for sciences in fact the shastra ramanujan award is rated amongst be the top 10 awards in the world for mathematics given that there is no nobel for mathematics and i am proud to say in the last 16 years that we have given this award six of the awardees went ahead to receive the fields medal and this award is given to only those who are aged under 33 so likewise all the three awards that will be presented today i feel sentimentally attached that the award recipients by way of the sentimental attachment that we have to these awards are definitely going to receive more and more awards and they have received many awards in the past but this award is special for them on that special note i welcome all the awardees and i am very happy that professor sadagopan agreed to our invitation to give this award because he is a person who is committed with passion in building institutions in india though he graduated from some of the best universities elsewhere he decided that he has to come back to india and build an institution of repute which he has successfully done both as an institutional builder and as an individual achiever it is a moment of honor for us that professor sadagopan has agreed to be the chief guest for this national science day awards function and before i end my welcome address we have always felt that this is an occasion that we should use to not only inspire students by way of presenting awards to distinguished scientists but also participate in a larger movement that can percolate through schools and touch the scientific temper of the students on that count shastra is very happy to announce the creation of 75 virtual reality labs in 75 schools in tamil nadu not only celebrating the 75th year of independent india but also in a way trying to align with the new education policy that mandates every institution to instill a spirit of immersive and experiential learning and i am sure this virtual reality facility that we would be creating in 75 schools that will be selected on a very empirical basis and a transparent way will nurture that spirit of immersive and experiential learning with this backdrop i welcome once again all of you for the national science day awards function thank you thank you sir ladies and gentlemen it's my extreme privilege and honor to request our chief guest professor s sadagopan former director triple it bengaluru to share us with his words of wisdom please professor thank you dr guha is my audio fine it's perfect sir good good morning to everyone present in india and a good evening to those in the united states it is indeed my privilege and honor to be giving away the shastra national science day awards today to four distinguished scientists 
Professor Sandeep Verma of SCRB, Professor Govind Raju of JNC in Bangalore, Professor Harmit Malik, Fred Hutch, Seattle, USA, all that way far, 8,000 miles away, and Professor Yamaran Murthy of IBAB Electronic City, Bangalore. Let me first congratulate the award winners. This award recognizes your outstanding work. And based on the past 60 years, this award is the harbinger of many more awards in your professional career. So my advanced congratulations for the future awards too. All of you join me in giving the award winners a big applause. Dr. Vaidi, special thanks for inviting me to do this honor. And I must particularly tell you, I am particularly touched. I did see the program and saw that there is an invocation. And I also found the name of uh, Emma Subalakshmi, Bharat Ratna Award winner. But I was so touched that you chose the Maitri Bhajata Bhajan. It could not be a more appropriate, and you know, those words, Yudham Tyajata, give up wars, is so appropriate. I do hope that the powers that be listen to it right today and stop the war so that we all can live peacefully. So that is a larger request to the larger world. Okay. And uh, to the award winners, I will get a chance to listen to your talks later in the day. I look forward to listening. And being a virtual event, the award winners have one special advantage. You can receive the award from the comfort of your homes, more so in the company of your family and friends. Thank you, Shastra, and thank you, Dr. Vaidi. I am particularly happy to be at this moment doing this honor because I find the three elements, what in Sanskrit we call kala, Desha and Vartamana, Kala Desha Vartamana are all aligned. Let me take a minute to explain. Kala loosely translates to time. 28th February is special. It's special for the whole world because it is the last day of the shortest month. And for India, it is a special day. It's a National Science Day and as a close association with India's Nobel Prize laureate, Sir Sivi Raman. The place, the Desha, Shastra is a unique organization located in the sylvan surroundings of what we call Bharat, the rural India, as distinguished from the urban India with its flashy cities of Bangalore and Delhi. Shastra perhaps is the only private university in India that has systematically mastered the art of institution building. It proves every day that it can win over every hurdle. It keeps scaling greater heights year after year. NIRF ranked 22 already, highest NAC accreditation in three rounds every round. And of course, the place is also very special today. I am doing this honor from Bangalore, the place associated with Sir C. V. Raman. And for the last several years, decades, the science capital of India, starting from early 2000, the IT capital of India, and starting from 2020, the startup capital of India, and at least two of the award winners are from this very city. On a completely different plane, in the post-COVID world, the place has a very different meaning. Seattle, where Dr. Harmit Malik is sitting, Shastra University in Tanjavur, and Bangalore, where I am sitting, are seamlessly knit together as a single location on this Zoom world of screens. What an amazing stuff. The context, 28th February, 2022, the planet seems to be getting out of COVID-19 
and with no jingoism in all humility we feel proud we don't feel arrogant we feel proud we feel happy that india has proved that when it comes to vaccines we indians can work together health workers scientists engineers economists policy makers law makers and law enforcement agencies media political leaders and of course common citizen can come together to design manufacture distribute manage the supply chain and organize people across the length and breadth of the country to vaccinate nearly 2 billion vaccines we already crossed 1 1.8 i think very soon we'll cross the 2 billion it is a no mean achievement and this year's national science day every year government chooses a particular theme for the national science day this year the theme is integrated science and sustainability let me repeat integrated science and sustainability sets the context even more clearly i am privileged to have some connections i thought it is nice to kind of connect those dots with the award winners the organizations the people and the places so i thought that it may be nice to kind of pep up the good mood i used to be a founding member of ibab for nearly 20 years i am glad that an ibab faculty member professor m r n murthy is receiving the award today professor sena rao and i have a common alma mater we both went to purdue in us dr g n ramchandran and i are both products of madras university many of the previous award winners professor satyamurthy t k chandrashekar and t v ramkrishnan at iit kanpur professor vijayan at iisc professor baldev raj at nias professor vijay raghavan at ncbs were my colleagues or professional friends and dr malik i used to be i have been a regular visitor to seattle for last 30 years thanks to my connection with what is known as u dub okay university of washington microsoft corporation and the old boeing company a distinguished jury has chosen the winners we all should be thankful to them for the rigorous process they had adopted to identify the four of you from a long list of potential winners and the message to the students of shastra university who must be watching this event you must get inspired from this event to win this award in the later years and to win similar awards in future do attend the talks by the award winners later in the day it is an intellectual feast i too will join and to the parents of the students of shastra university you must encourage your wards to pursue science and win similar awards in future to my media friends you must do more stories on science and make science cool see today's generation wants cool stuff so science must also become cool okay and that is in the hands of the media and policy planners and public at large should devote larger resources and attention to science let me conclude by congratulating the award winners once again and thanking the organizers for giving me this opportunity over to you thank you thank you so much sir your inspirational words actually tell us that science transcends all barriers be it physical geographical or anything thank you so much for that thank you ma'am we now move forward to the next segment where we feel honored to confer the awards to the inspiring stalwarts of science i request professor john bosco balaguru dean sponsored research to read out the citation for the shastra g n ramachandran award for excellence in physics please sir very good morning professor mathur ramachandra shastri narasimha murthy was born in the small village of mathur situated in the shivamogga district of karnataka 
professor m r n murthy earned his bsc honors in physics from bangalore university and msc physics from the indian institute of technology madras he obtained his phd on elucidation of structures of peptides under the guidance of professor k venkateshan department of organic chemistry of the indian institute of science bangalore his post doctoral work at purdue university with professor michael roseman a structural biology pioneer helped unravel the structure of bovine liver catalase in the early 80s he later joined the molecular physics unit at the indian institute of science where he served until his retirement professor murthy along with professor m vijayan established the x ray diffraction facility at the molecular biophysics unit of indian institute of science which served as the na national nucleus for crystallographic work in the initial decade of stru such structural work in india professor murthy developed methods for the structure determination and analysis of viruses that were computationally efficient and less demanding of resources his success in these endeavors has reflected in the successful conclusion of several structural studies on virus particles which are the only such studies performed in the 20th century in the third world countries for a long time he was the only crystallographer working on working on viral proteins in india he has contributed about 100 protein crystal structures to the protein data bank and has authored as many papers in internationally peer reviewed journals professor m r n murthy is currently the distinguished professor and astrazeneca chair at the institute of bioinformatics and applied biotechnology bangalore and is involved in teaching and research at the institute professor murthy is a re recipient of shanti swarup patnagar prize in 1993 rustam choksi award of iisc 2002 gn ramachandran commemoration medal 2003 AstraZeneca Distinguished Scientist Award for the Popularization of Science in 2005, Hari Om Ashram Trust Award of UGC 2004, JC Bose Award 2005. He is a Fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore, 1992, Fellow of the National Academy of Sciences, India, and Allahabad, 2001, Fellow of the Third World Academy of Sciences, 2004, Jagdish Chandra, Chandra Bose Award. for life sciences in 2006 and the gn ramachandran gold medal for excellence in biological sciences in 2009 professor murthy has shown deep commitment to science education in india he is a frequent speaker in schools and colleges and has written several articles on science related issues he has written a popular science book on biotechnology in canada he has actively participated in the activities of Karnataka Rajya Vigyan Parishad Bangalore Association for Science Education and in the Karnataka State Council for Science and Technology in view of his exceptional contributions to the field of x-ray crystallography and for his efforts in science and the institutional building his strong passion for inspiring science education among the young children sasra university is honored to bestow on professor mathur ramabhadra shastri narasimha murthy the prestigious sastra gn ramachandran award for the year 2022 thank you i now request professor murthy to please share his thoughts with us thank you i uh, thank you very much and namaste to all of you am i supposed to speak for 4 minutes now or later sir you can speak for all the time you want sir no 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 you see you have in the program now now uh, now sir, some sir, statement now. by awardees yes now, now is it now okay thank you very much first of all i am very grateful to shastra for giving me this award this means very special to me you know gn ramachandran's name is very precious to me as a first year graduate student i attended lectures on conformational analysis from gn ramachandran he was as great a speaker 
as a scientist. And you know, once he teaches, you will never forget. Uh, 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 later, at the end of my uh, student days, I gave a seminar in the Faculty Hall of Indian Institute of Science on my work. And after the meeting, GNR personally came to me and said he liked my presentation. I was actually disguised, you know, to I am a small fry, and to hear from G. N. Ramachandran that he liked my seminar was extremely valuable to me. You know, it's a great, uh, uplifting statement. Then, when I came back to India and started working, G. N. Ramachandran had retired by then, but I have gone to his house several times and have told him what I am doing. And you know, the pers the reception he had is. You know, he's very impressive. You could see his genius. You know, you, you say, you start saying something, he already has grasped what you are going to say. So you don't have to complete the sentence. He already knows. You know, the symmetry of viruses, for example, the perception he had is wonderful. And Fourier transforms, which is his very favorite topic. And I told him the difficulties of Fourier transform for virus structures. He appreciated it very much. And you know, this, this has been a very great inspiration for me. Another reason why I am very happy about this is that this award has been given to two of my best colleagues. You know, one is Tej Pal Singh, who is my colleague. You know, we did PhD together. And another is uh, Professor Vijayan, under whose support I have done all my work in, in my whole lifetime. I was with Vijayan. You know, I joined when Vijayan was already a professor, and I superannuated when Vijayan was still continuing as an emeritus professor. And he has supported me throughout, and he has got this award. And also, G. N. Ramachandran is very special for us because I have worked all my life in the department founded by him. You know, initially, at a very young age, he was a professor at Madras and did outstanding work. And then he came to Bangalore and started this biophysics department, which grew into a very fine institution. Uh, and so I was very lucky to be working in molecular biophysics. That is why you see this Ramachandran Award, no more than anything else, that name is very precious for us. I have very deep respect for Ramachandran as a scientist. You know, at his home, he was so hospitable and he is completely academic. His interest was only science and science research. And to get an award in his name is indeed extremely nice. And I am very grateful to Shastra for giving me this award. And namaste to all of you. Thank you so much, sir, for being an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. I now request Professor S. Edlin Princey, Associate Dean Research, School of Chemical and Biotechnology, read out the citation for the Shastra Obed Siddiqui Award for Excellence in Life Sciences. A very pleasant morning to the distinguished awardees, fellow professors, and the curious young minds who have gathered virtually on this very special occasion of the National Science Day. It's indeed a great honor and pleasure for me to present the citations of the highly prestigious Shastra Obed Siddiqui Awardee, Dr. Harmit S. Malik, on behalf of the Shastra Fraternity. Home senior once remarked, every now and then, a man's mind is stretched by a new idea or sensation and never shrinks back to its former dimensions. This quote essentially captures the pioneering work of Dr. Malik in the field of genetics of evolutionary conflict through his concept of evolutionary echoes. This has led to a paradigm shift in the way we perceive evolution once and for all. His lab has been exploring more about viruses and what Dr. Malik calls the molecular arms race for around two decades now. Dr. Malik's journey started at the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, where he pursued his undergraduate studies in chemical engineering. Inspired by the world of molecular biology, as introduced to him by Professor K. Krishnamurti Rao, 
and the infamous book, The Selfish Gene, he went on to pursue his doctoral studies in biology at the University of Rochester under the mentorship of Dr. Ed Bush. Following this, Dr. Malik moved to Seattle to the Fred Hudson Singh Cancer Research Center to work on the evolution of centromeric histones and other assorted problems with Dr. Steve Hennicuff as a postdoctoral fellow. Dr. Malik established his lab at the Kutch in the year 2003, and he has been associated with the Institute ever since. He is currently the professor and associate director of the Basic Sciences Division of Fred Hutch. He is also serving as an earlier career scientist of the Howard Hooks Medical Institute and as an affiliate professor of genome sciences at the University of Washington. His lab is working on a range of projects involving centromeres and heterochromatin, mobile genetic elements, nuclear import and variant histones, and innate defense strategies against retroviruses with a specific focus on genetic conflicts that takes place between different genomes or between components of the same genome. While his team takes an evolution-guided functional virology approach to delve deeper into the field of paleovirology and genetic conflicts, his work has also been directly implicated in various diseases, including HIV and cancer. Dr. Malik's research has been published in eminent journals, including Nature, Science, Cell, Molecular Biology and Evolution, PLOS Biology, E-Life with more than 18,000 citations. Dr. Harmit Malik has been the recipient of numerous awards and accolades for his remarkable excellence in research. He was awarded the Presidential Early Career Award for Scientists and Engineers in 2008 followed by the Early Career Scientist of the Howard Hooks Medical Institute Award in 2009. He has the Vilsack Prize for Creative Promise in Biomedical Science 2010 and the prestigious Ellie Lilly Prize in Microbiology 2017. To his credit, in addition to being the great immigrants recipient in 2011, and a full investigator at the Howard Hooks Medical Institute 2013. He was also elected to be a member of the National Academy of Sciences in the year 2019. He was recently presented with the illustrious Genetic Society of America Edward Nowitzki Award in 2022 for his extraordinary creativity and intellectual ingenuity in genetics research. It is equally instigating to note his work beyond the bench. When asked about Dr. Malik to his colleagues, the unanimous reply has been about his nature to nurture others. He manages to help his junior faculties and students by engaging himself in reading, discussing and critiquing their work and being constant support throughout their journey. Truly, Dr. Malik is a great inspiration to all the curious minds out there. The Shastra Opet Siddiqui Award for Excellence in Life Sciences for the year 2022, it's proudly being presented to Dr. Harmit S. Malik for his stellar contributions in the field of evolutionary and population genetics. Thank you. I request Professor Malik to please share his thoughts. Thank you very much for that very kind introduction and also for my uh, selection um, for this very prestigious award. Um, there's a lot of emotions uh, about accepting this particular award. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, those of you who are not geneticists watching this uh, may not appreciate the deep and profound impact 
that Professor Obed Siddiqui had on generations of scientists uh, growing up in India. He was a patriot in the truest sense. He started the molecular biology unit first at DIFR Bombay, and then he was the uh, starting director of the very famous and prestigious NCBS in Bangalore. What is also uh, evident is that his training legacy of people um, is, is amazing, that the number of people that he trained in his lab who are now leading uh, research institutions, research labs all over the world uh, is amazing. I came to biology relatively late in my career, so to speak, because I was a chemical engineering student and I sort of was trying to pretend to be a biologist. But even then, even as a pretend molecular biologist, it was just apparent that the one name that you'd hear constantly is that of Professor Obeid Siddiqui. And when you met him, there was just absolutely no air about him. It was just uh, uh, like, like meeting somebody and having a cup of tea with a peer. He had this amazing ability to put you at ease, even if you were a starting student who had really no business speaking with one of the greatest minds in genetics. Um, and he had this amazing ability to nurture you, mentor you. Um, and despite him knowing about a hundred times more than what you did, he always seemed to be able to put you at the center stage of his attention and give you the center stage of his um, abilities and his ideas. It is not a coincidence that he, he is uh, universally recorded as one of the most eminent Indian geneticists to have come in, not just from people in India, but a number of really famous Nobel Prize winners um, uh, in the US and in Europe as well. Um, what I will just take away from this and why I'm deeply honored by this award is that his legacy as a scientist is unparalleled, but his legacy as a mentor is even more impressive. And his legacy as an amazing human being is perhaps the most impressive of, of all. He was a true patriot in the truest sense. And I really hope that I can live up to even a smidgen of the incredible um, life that he led uh, both in science and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor Malik, for being an inspiration to all. Thank you. I now request Professor K. Uma Maheshwari, Dean, School of Arts, Science and Humanities, to read out the citation for the Shastra CNR Rao Award for Excellence in Chemistry and Material Science. Good morning, everybody. It is a pleasure to introduce this year's uh, winner of the Sastra CNR Rao Award for Excellence in Chemistry and Material Science, Professor Sandeep Verma. Professor Sandeep Verma is an outstanding bio uh, organic chemist who completed his MSc in Organic Chemistry from Banaras Hindu University in 1989. He received his PhD from University of Illinois Medical Center in Chicago in the year 1994 following which he carried out postdoctoral research at the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at the Johns Hopkins Medical Institution, Baltimore, USA, and later at Max Planck Institute for Experimental Medicine at Gordinger, Germany. Upon his return to India, Professor Verma joined the Department of Chemistry at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, in 1997, where he currently holds the positions of Professors of Chemistry and Sri Devaraj Endo Chair Professor. He is also an affiliated faculty in the DSC Thematic Unit of Excellence on Soft Nanofabrication and also at the Center for Environmental Science and Engineering at IIT Kanpur. He took charge as the Secretary, Science and Engineering Research Board, SCRB, Department of Science and Technology, in April 2019 and has been stirring its activities uh, since then. Professor Verma's research interests are centered around various facets of bioorganic chemistry, metal mediated systems, and cell assembly. His research group employs bioessential molecules for creating organic frameworks to study biomimetic processes and to decipher ordered aggregation relevant to certain neurodegenerative diseases using a broad canvas of synthetic organic chemistry, crystallography, microscopy, and cell and material science. His work on metal nuclear base interactions focus on existing knowledge of nucleic acid metal interactions to create structurally interesting architectures 
with outstanding photophysical properties that serve as enzyme mimics and as new materials for gas storage and hybrid electrodes. His laboratory is actively engaged in rational ligand synthesis and inhibition of amyloidogenic diseases by interfering with the protein aggregation process. His research is also focused towards development of bio-inspired soft matter and protocols using biological building blocks as diagnostic tools for disease. Professor Verma's scientific contributions have been recognized in the form of several prestigious awards and recognitions, both at the national and international levels. Just to name a few, he is the recipient of the Alexander Vaughan Humboldt Fellowship in 2001, the JWT Jones Fellowship in 2004 from the Royal Society of Chemistry, UK, the BM Birla Science Prize in Chemical Sciences in the year 2004, the 2005 Swarna Jayanti Fellowship in Chemical Sciences, the CDRA Award for Excellence in Drug Research in 2009, the prestigious Shantisvaru Bhatnagar Prize in Chemical Sciences for the year 2010, the DAE SRC Outstanding Investigator Award in 2012 from the Department of Atomic Energy Government of India, Professor R. C. Mehrotra commemorative lecture gold medal in 2013 at the Indian Science Congress Centenary Session, the silver medal of the Chemical Research Society of India in 2017, the National Prize for Research on Interfaces between Chemistry and Biology in the year 2017, the MRSI ICSE Superconductivity and Material Science Annual Prize for the year 2018, instituted by the Materials Research Society of India, and in 2019, Professor Sandeep Verma was awarded the Goyal Prize in Chemical Sciences. He is an elected fellow of the Indian National Science Academy, Indian Academy of Sciences, and National Academy of Sciences India. He is an associate editor of Chemical Communications and serves on the editorial advisory boards of several prestigious journals like Cell Chemical Biology, Chem Biochem, and Journal of Peptide Science. In recognition of his outstanding contributions to the fields of chemical biology, enzyme mimics, and programmable soft matter, Sastra is honored to present Professor Sandeep Verma with the 2022 Sastra CNR Rao Award for Excellence in Chemistry and Material Science. Congratulations, sir. I request Professor Verma to share his thoughts with us. Namaskar. Uh, thank you very much to the jury of uh, Sastra CNR Award for choosing me as uh, the recipient of this award in 2022. Uh, let me start by greeting all of, uh, all of us uh, on the National Science Day of India, which is a very great occasion for all of us. I mean, we know the history behind it, and I am really delighted that uh, Sastra has chosen February 28th for this uh, uh, award ceremony. Professor Sadgopan, uh, Chief Guest, uh, Professor Vaidya, uh, a very stellar uh, set of awardees. I am really delighted to be part of all of you uh, receiving the Sastra CNR Award for 2022. Uh, let me uh, take a leaf from what uh, Professor Sadgopan was talking about uh, in terms of how he wanted to connect uh, his, uh, you know, associations with the awardees and the award function. I would like to tell that Professor Sienna Rao and I go, I have something in common. And the first thing which is in common for both of us is that we both graduated from Banaras Hindu University. And since I met Professor Rao, uh, he has always been telling me, oh, I am your super senior. And to have his name associated, you know, not on a uh, uh, not as a publication, but but his blessings as part of this award is truly, truly special. Uh, going ahead, uh, Professor Rao was the first uh, chairman of the Department of Chemistry at IIT Kanpur, where I joined in 1997 uh, after my return from Germany. So the, the connection is really uh, dramatic. We both were students in the same university and we both served uh, as our first job in the institution, which is synonymous with, you know, a very high learning and research that is IIT Kanpur. I, I, I think uh, 
it is really uh, an honor for someone like me uh, to be associated with the name of Bharat Ratna Prasar Rao. Uh, having had his blessings, his mentorship in a variety of ways, sitting together with him on very many occasions, learning the nuances of science, science communication, and his infectious enthusiasm for science that has, you know, brought us uh, uh, to a level that we started thinking about uh, India, Indian science. And at the moment, as it was pointed out in the introduction, I'm deeply honored to be serving the cause of science as the lead of India's one of the most premier science R&D funding agency uh, under the Department of Science and Technology Government of India. So I think the, the flame carries on not only good science, but our intention to support good science at all level of engagement is equally important. And we all are doing our bit. And I'm truly delighted to be part of this ceremony to see the distinguished awardees, and I find myself in their company that is truly uh, an inspiration. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Vedya Subramaniam, the jury for choosing me. And I thank all of you, the faculty of Sastra, as well as the student for having me here. I look forward to our interactions, the scientific lectures during the course of, it, of the day. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much, Professor Verma, for being a true inspiration. I now request Professor K.S. Rajan, Dean School of Chemical and Biotechnology to read out the citation for the Shastra CNR Rao Award for Excellence in Chemistry and Material Science. Very good morning to everyone and good evening to those in states. I am very happy and feel privileged to introduce Professor P. Govinda Raju and present the citation for the same. Professor Timmeya Govinda Raju was born on July 20, 1976 in Bangalore Rural District and completed MSc in 2000. He pursued doctoral work at the National Chemical Laboratory Pune under the mentorship of Professor K. N. Ganesh and completed the same in 2005. He had postdoctoral research strings in the University of Wisconsin-Madison, USA and Max Planck Institute of Molecular Physiology, Germany. He was an Alexander von Humbert Foundation Research Fellow from 2006 to 2008. He joined Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research, JNCSR, in 2008 as assistant professor and became a professor in 2020. Professor T. Govinda Raju works at the interface of chemistry, biology, and biomaterials. His group is engaged in solving problems related to health, especially Alzheimer's disease and lung cancer through the utilization of expertise in organic synthesis, peptide chemistry, bioconjugate chemistry, biophysical techniques, and chemical biology. His group has developed novel diagnostics for Alzheimer's disease that is capable of selective detection. The drug candidate TGR63 developed by his laboratory has been demonstrated to be effective in reducing amyloid burden in Alzheimer's disease brain and reverse the cognitive decline in animal models. Silk derived formulations developed, uh, silk derived formulations for sustained in vivo delivery of insulin, diabetic wound healing, and tissue engineering have also been developed by his group. He has authored 37 patents that are in various stages of processing, in addition to 10 patents that have been either published or granted. He has published more than 125 papers and has a H index of 46. He is a recipient of several awards, which include Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize for Chemical Sciences in 2021, CDRI Award for Excellence in Drug Research in 2019, Swarnajati Fellowship in 2016, Professor CNR Award from Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology 2015, Innovative Young Biotechnologist Award in 2011, and INSA Medal for Young Scientist in 2011. In addition to being a scientist, he has also successfully demonstrated his acumen as, a, uh, as an individual, as an entrepreneur, and set up a company named VNIR Biotechnologies Private Limited that aims at redefining molecular imaging and diagnostics through development of molecular probes. He is engaged in outreach activities, through creating awareness on mental illness by visiting schools in Karnataka and other states. 
in recognition of his path breaking work on the development of diagnostic tool for alzheimer's disease and the drug candidate for the treatment of alzheimer's disease and his outreach efforts sastra deemed university is pleased to honor professor timaya govinda raju with sastra cnr award for excellence in chemistry and material science for 2022 congratulations professor i request professor govinda raju to please share his thoughts with us can you hear me yeah uh, yes. very good morning to shastra university uh, chief guest uh, professor uh, sadagopan distinguished uh, uh, guest awardees and students it is my honor and privilege to accept the cnr shastra cnr award for excellence in chemistry and material science for the year 2022 which is named after the living legend bharat ratna professor cna rao i sincerely thank shastra university especially the chancellor professor r sethuraman vice chancellor professor s vaidya subramaniam and dean planning and development professor s uh, swaminathan for conferring this prestigious award on me i am grateful for my nomination and also thanks to distinguished jury, jury for selecting me for this award i accept this award with humility and gratitude along side the stalwarts such as professor mrn murthy professor sandeep verma professor armit malik who are with us and receiving the awards on this national science day event i am happy and have this humble feeling uh, to receive this award uh, alongside professor sandeep parma who has been uh, who has extended great support uh, for me during my research uh, in, in many many uh, ways my sincere thanks to professor siana rao who is our mentor and jncsr my host institute and various funding agencies uh, of uh, government of india for supporting our research uh, endeavors uh, for close to 14 years i also extend my sincere appreciation and gratitude to my coworkers family and many others without their contribution this honor would not have been possible finally i am fully aware that every award and recognition comes with a responsibility and this award will definitely motivate me to do more in the integrated approach driven sti domain in the coming uh, years as truly mentioned by the by the chief guest vice chancellor and also uh, professor sandeep verma wishing you all a very happy national science day let the integrated approach driven science technology and innovation shape the great future of our country thank you one and all thank you very much thank you so much professor govind raju for being an inspiration thank you ladies and gentlemen it is my privilege to invite dr prasanna chandrashekhar from the chandrashekhar foundation new jersey to announce the award winner for the shastra saroj chandrashekhar award for women phd scholars over to you sir um, good morning to all and welcome to this the presentation of the second year of the shastra professor Saroj Chandrasekhar Memorial Awards 2022. I am Dr. Prasanna Chandrasekhar speaking from New Jersey near New York um, in the USA. Um, these awards are given to women PhD students in their third or fourth year of studies in the biological sciences and related fields. They are open to students who have submitted their thesis but not yet defended. The awards are in memory of my mother who dedicated her life to research in tuberculosis. they are meant to recognize the phd work of these students and to encourage them to pursue research careers in this second year we received a good response to less than we received last year which was the first year of these awards we shortlisted 10 finalists for online presentations and interviews comprising a presentation of 20 minutes followed by questions from the selection committee of 8 minutes uh, the selection committee comprised myself a scientist and owner of two technology companies here in the new york area Uh, professor Niharika Nath, a professor and form, uh, former head of the Department of Biological 
in chemical sciences at New York Institute of Technology, also here in the New York area. Professor Adeline Solomon, who is with us today, uh, Associate Dean for Research at Shastra University, and Professor Mahadevan Vijayalakshmi, a professor in the disease epigenomics group at the Institute of Bioinformatics and Applied Biotechnology in Bangalore. We are making three awards this year, each with a prize of one lakh rupees and a certificate. Uh, before I get to the awards, I'll just give a brief bio of my mother, Professor Saroj Chandrasekhar, who, as I said, dedicated her life to research in tuberculosis. Uh, she received her bachelor's in microbiology from St. Xavier's College University of Bombay in 1947 and left for England just a month after India's independence to pursue her PhD from Imperial College of Science and Technology in London, which she received in 1950 at the age of 23. She then returned to India to do a postdoc at the Indian Agricultural Research Institute, also called Pusa Institute in Delhi. She joined the faculty of the University of Delhi's Vallabhai Patel Chest Institute in 1953 and thereafter dedicated her life to research in the pathogenesis of tuberculosis. She took a break in the years 1966 to 1969 as a visiting faculty member at Johns Hopkins University School of Hygiene and Public Health in Baltimore, uh, Maryland, USA, also working there in the pathogenesis of tuberculosis. She retired in 1992. Her major contribution to uh, tuberculosis were in definitively demonstrating the existence of cell wall deficient forms of tubercle bacilli that are totally unaffected by antibiotics and can remain dormant in humans for decades like sleeper cells. When their host is severely immune suppressed, they suddenly come alive, so to speak, causing tuberculosis. Her contributions have actually impacted how we treat the disease today. And my mother passed away in 2017. I will now announce the three awards alphabetically. The first award is to Ritika Chatterjee of the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore for her PhD work in understanding Salmonella tifimurium's strategies to restrict and modulate host cell xenophagy by SOPB in macrophages. The, the uh, congratulations to Ritika. The second award is to Berlin Hamid of the Vellore Institute of Technology for her work in 3D surgical implants embedded with small molecules for better acceptance by the human body. Uh, Berlin's last name on her application was Hamid, but it's now Aman Khan. The third and final award is to Diana Rodriguez, who is, giant, uh, who is jointly at the National Center for Biological Sciences of the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bangalore and Shastra University in Tanjavur. And this is for her work in ontogeny, identity and function of larval blood cell progenitors in Drosophila melanogaster. I would also like to thank all our applicants and, and our three awardees for their participation in this year's Chandrasekhar Awards. Special thanks also to the other selection committee members, Professor Nath, Solomon, and Vijay Lakshmi for their many hours and dedicated effort. And finally, thanks to Professor Swaminathan of Shastra for having guided us through these awards and contributed so much uh, to their successful implementation. And also to Professor Vedyanathan of Shastra for giving us the honor of hosting these awards as part of their, uh, their National Science Day celebrations. And of course, thanks to the audience for your attention. Thank you and congratulations again for the, uh, uh, to the awardees. Thank you so much, Dr. Chandrasekhar, for this immense uh, initiative which encourages women scholars. Thank you so much for that. I now request Dr. S. Swaminathan, Dean Planning and Development, to propose the vote of thanks. A very good morning to the distinguished chief guest, vice chancellor, award winners, faculty colleagues, and all those who are watching the program. And we are drawing close to the final minutes of this wonderful, wonderful program on a very special day with many takeaways. First, first, I'm very thankful to Professor Sadagopan for his presence and his words of benediction to a lot of youngsters like me, because Professor Sadagopan is an embodiment of a teacher, researcher, mentor, policymaker, institution builder, and so on. I'm sure with your blessings and support of well-wishers like you, Shastra would scale newer heights. 
on behalf of shastra i would like i would like to thank you for presenting the shastra national science day awards today sir the various activities of the universities right from the inception has been carefully centered uh, on our vision and mission statement which clearly reflect our quest for academic excellence and global competence and our core value of instilling social responsibility aligns with today's announcement made by the vice chancellor of setting up 75 immersive labs that will definitely go a long way in shaping the creative minds of young children in schools i'm saying this with confidence because we started seeing the outcomes of the shastra cnr rao stem labs that were created 2 years ago in a lot of schools in tamil nadu about 20 schools government and private schools that were chosen after a careful process where we set up the shastra cnr stem labs sir. and we would like to thank uh, the board of management and the vice chancellor for not only taking shastra to greater heights as pointed out by professor sadagopan but also in contributing to instilling the scientific temper at all levels starting from the primary schools colleges and universities the the three shastra awards presented today in the name of the doyans of indian science though the science of these men were carried out in india the implications of their work have been recognized throughout the world and that would be a very you know understatement and all three have contributed immensely to science uh, which have not only positioned the country in the top science and technology but they have served as role models as shared by some of the award winners today uh, to the award winners themselves and to the larger scientific community today the institution takes pride in presenting the three awards to four outstanding scientists with a humble request that you all should visit the campus at the next available opportunity by recognizing them shastra has continued its great tradition of recognizing the contributions uh, to not only science but also to the scientific community we congratulate the winners and thank them for accepting the award as the vice chancellor pointed out just as you know some of our shastra ramanujan award winners have gone ahead and won the fields medal we hope that some of our award winners will one day also re receive the nobel prize sir. we also place on record our sincere gratitude to all the members of the award committee because it was never an easy decision of selecting the best amongst the best sir, to receive the 2022 shastra national science day awards we also thank professor saroj chandrashekar foundation for truly believing in us, believing in us and giving us the opportunity to administer the shastra saroj chandrashekar memorial award and i would like to thank all those who have been associated with this today's function and who have joined us this morning and we also request uh, you to join us for the science day award lectures which will begin at 11 am thank you very much thank you so much sir ladies and gentlemen as we march ahead towards the closure of today's program let us pledge that the flare of science shall stay ignited in minds of young and old i thank you all for your participation and have a wonderful day ahead thank you santosh live stop karna santosh can stop the live